So, stream should be online after a long, long time. I'm finally back to streaming. So, let me tell everyone that, yeah, it's definitely there. Tell everyone that it's there. Boom! So, that's done. Mess that and bring chat up. And let's run through the opening sequence again. I hope I have the correct password here. At least it's marked stream part one ending. <laughs> Excuse me. So I hope it's the right one. <laughs> Type in a ridiculously long password. Oh. What I like about this system is that they removed any uh, any characters or numbers that could be mistaken for something else. So there's no one in there that could be mistaken for an I, there's no zero in there that could be mistaken for an O. That's really nice. But it's still freaking long considering the fact that you do not get back to where you save, but rather you get back to the beginning of the game and then you have to walk up all the way again. Yeah, we do have the better sword, we do have three crystals, and the music indicates that we are ridiculously OP. So. Ouch. That hurt. I think there was a f quick path up here, yeah. Not frogs. Just killing some of those guys because they get money and whenever you use a password you lose money. So that's a big problem. Green sneaks. about it. There's something I wanted to check. There were a couple of regions where we never went to. Because we just skipped them, technically speaking. And I don't know this one. Oh, come on. Do what I say. Crap. 
green into a child. Right, for example here. We've never... We, we ne never try. Oh, see, that's what I meant. There are a couple of areas that we haven't checked. The warrior's grave can be found next to the river. Oh, thank you very much for that statement. Let's look over here. Is there something here? Bees. I hate them. That's also a statement. I think we were here. Yeah, there's nothing here. Ouch. Okay. Just need to make sure that we're on the right track here. Those frogs are not all that dangerous. Ouch! Crap, they got me. Ah! Skeletons are rather mean. Okay, something here. here apparently. I'm almost dead. Holy crap. <laughs> nope, I didn't. Hey Tikarotro, how are you doing? And welcome to the stream. Well, my initial objective here actually was to not die. I don't think I can make any of these promises. <laughs> this is... Okay, can't get there. This was just the area where you could get the crystal. We've already bought that one. And we're just trying to get back into the game. Go whatever we can heal ourselves. I'm going to use that. Oh, I'm doing fine. Oh crap. Fine. We have two holidays tomorrow in Germany, so at, at least in South Germany, for the rest of Germany it's just one holiday tomorrow. So that's great, Reformation Day. And that means, uh, since it's also Halloween for all the English-speaking folks, I might as well do a spooky stream. Uh, I have to decide what I'm going to do. I was first thinking, yeah, maybe Master of Darkness would be good. But 
No, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe something like Resident Evil Zero on some other game. I have to have to make a decision. I really don't know what to play. Oh, I hate those guys. It's best to go straight down the path as soon as possible. Well, tell me something new. There's nothing here, I suppose. Ah, crap. Okay. Hey, Ghibli, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Okay, I've already bought everything here as well. Damn, I think we came really far in our last stream. Suppose I'm playing a pretty awesome Master System game here. <laughs> so, wait, to the east lies Fospo Swarm. I think we actually have to go there. Um, last time we went west, westwards, and then, yeah, there's just these hills there. Let's see if we can get anything out of here. Just some queen frogs. They're not giving us anything. There's nothing opening up here. Let's see what's there. Oh, oh, holy crap. Let's go in there. Oh, yes, please give it to me. Nice. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. Probably do have to go to the south. I do know if you go to the west and north, that's the wrong way. Crap. These guys are murdering me. Snakes, Jesus Christ. Oh, let's see what we have there. We need aqua boots if we seek to meet Phosphorus. Okay, so I need those aqua boots first. Yeah, I mean the game is rather difficult. Uh... <sighs> Holy shit, leave me alone. Ah, great. much going to die here. Oh! Maybe I'm not going to die. <laughs> How far I'm in? I actually don't know, to be honest. Uh, I never played fully through this game. So I can't tell how, how far I am. I do know there are seven... Well, I mean, what I can say is there are seven crystals that you need to collect, and I have three currently. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Nope. So, there's still quite a bit I have to... There are still a couple of areas I need to go to. This game is actually rather large for a game from 1987. Oh, not those bats again. And like I said, it's also really difficult, particularly when you have those flyers. There's a ring of invisibility somewhere in the swarm. Okay. The problem is that I really don't know if I'm in the swarm right now or not. Ah, oh, more of them. Oh, great. Ugh. There we have to go here. Just look at how many enemies are on the screen. Hey, Sandy Lane 77. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Yeah, I take it. I sometimes have the feeling that that's because of my um, OSSC. Oh crap. No, that's not right. Well, at least the red birds are not as quick as all the other guys. No invisibility? No, sadly not. Because if I did, I wouldn't be hanging out here. I think it opened up there, not here. Ah, crap. Didn't want to do that. Let's try this again. Ah, they're killing me. No, it opened straight here. Oh, please tell me there's some. That totally wasn't worth it. Because those Mea herbs, they're not actually doing much for you. If you use them, you get actually revived with one bar energy. So that's not really all that much. never seen that thing before. <laughs> yeah, the, the picture quality is actually pretty good. Love it. Oh, great. That's going to be my end. And that's it. <sighs> Good thing is I don't have to type in a password all the time. Huh. have to walk up again. <laughs> That's a really big problem with this game that it always starts in the beginning. You did not get any any way to start out a uh, little bit further into the game. I mean I guess it gives you an opportunity to get some money back before you reach the next part but you can check that out here. Only have 3900 when I died I had a little bit more.
That's that. Oh, crap. Yeah. Frogs are pretty horrible enemies because they always jump upwards, and when they jump upwards, that means you. That means they can hit you. So as long as you're underneath them, you have no problem. But if you're be above them, they will kill you very quickly. Uh, if who has the Ring of Invisibility, go to the north. Okay, we don't have that. Where to go here? Problem is, I think we went south the last time. Now we should definitely strictly go westwards. So I think that makes the most sense. Things are strong. We already have the better weapon that's supposed to make us stronger and the game a little bit easier. Those guys are pure horror. How's it going? Hmm. Holy shit! So that's desert. Can't go up there yet. Down, move left. Warding enemies like a pro. Great, now Sonic is after me. Uh. Take the password. Maybe that way we can actually get a safe point. I, actually, I I don't really know because, like I said, I've never been that far into the game. But so far, we always had to start at the beginning. Maybe a second winkle will start us at a different location. Who knows? Starting this on your Wii homebrew later. Okay. Decision to fight those guys. Otherwise, this shit's going to happen. Uh, that's what I mean. But apparently, there's nothing popping up here. So, let's see what we have here. Could the enemies get a little bit cuter? <laughs> I mean, really? No, nothing here either. is popping up again. Oh, come on. 
Oh, nice. We really hope we can get a little bit more money here. Like, restore our health, that would be great. Nope. Warlix Lake. Oops. Hmm. So those guys usually shoot arrows, that's not good. Let's see what we have here. Northeast of here is a forest of winding paths. Yeah, I've already been there, I think. bets. <laughs> I'm dead. No, we don't get a continue. need to save that password that I took, otherwise I'm forgetting it. Uh. So that sucks. You see, streaming, go values. Howdy, the Sanders how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. them. That's the one thing that really annoys me if you look at my money. Oh, 6,040. Yeah. I have to retain a little bit of what I got. see this happening quite a lot. Sadly that's the one downside of this game. It's actually really really tough. I really want to know where the swamp is. I haven't found that one yet. Oh, come on, die. Yeah, this just says it lies to the east, but if I go to the east, I don't think it's. Anything there, yeah, because that's a dead end. I 
think that... Ah, great. That path leads to nowhere as well. Yeah, we've been here already. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'll take all my money, I don't care. Whee. And I'm going to lose all of it again. There's a ring of invisibility somewhere in the swamp, but I don't know where the swamp is, because I can't go all that far to the east. Great. So we found the boss that we need to get to. Because right, the boss is supposed to be on an island, but we still need the right boots to actually walk there. So that's that. Run, run! I'm only going in here to reset the enemies and see if we can get past that. Yeah, that's just Eli handing out another password. down here. Literally nothing. Yeah, no, but I don't have them. Those things are so cute.
I'm right, just hoping that one of them drops a little bit of health. Apparently not. And I'm dead. Dead again. So is it just me or am I not getting any passwords anymore? Normally when you die you actually get a password. And now I'm just getting a game over screen. Where to go? That's the big question. If anyone can help me out, then please tell me. Because I'm right now super duper confused as to where to go. but it said we shouldn't. See if I can free of those guys if something opens up here. That's all I'm interested in. Apparently not. Okay. So I think the secret is somewhere in the desert. Maybe somewhere over here. Let's see. Hey, Will, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. So we do find quite a lot of uh, winkles lately, but we can't really find a place we need to go to. So that's that. Let's see what we have over here. Nothing. Except some easy money that is. Oh yeah, I'm very happy as well about that. Uh, I think I've sorted out most of the health, health stuff as well. At least the doc told me, yeah, you have to get used to that shit now. Good luck. So, that, that's that. Yeah, 
have we already settled on the fact that there's nothing to the east that we, where we can go to? So no matter what we're doing, we have to go into the desert. That's really the only place where we can go. Ah, crap. But for this stream, I really can't promise any progress. Because, like I said, I don't know where to go. Not there's nothing there. I mean, other than that one island that we found, but we can't go there unless we are able to walk over water. And we can only walk over water if we get the boots, and I would think that the boots might be here. Let's see if I'm right about that. The problem really is that there's so many areas here where nothing pops up. Like here for example. Except for these cute mice enemies, there's nothing here. And here we have those weird spinners that I can't really kill. Just they move off a bit. Oh, okay, so it opens up a hole in the water, that's great. There's nothing here either. I suppose those things really only open up stuff in the water, so we need to find those boots. I don't know where they are. They're not here, that's for sure. Because I can't kill much more enemies than that. Ah, crap. Nope. That totally wasn't worth it. Guys, move weird. Where do we go? Valley of Doom. Yeah, that's true. Yes, Gauntlet did come out for Master System. I actually have that. And right now, I'm going to rely on cheats because. I look up a walkthrough.
Ah, okay. So. Okay. Got my orientation at least. And I don't have to die either. Twenty thousand gold, but I take it. Okay, sorry, I really had to look this up in the walkthrough because none of those um, fairies was actually giving me was actually giving me anything. Easy can uh, any information? I mean, to to actually you know figure that stuff out. So. can actually do something here. Because now we should be able to walk over water, yay! No hold spot. <laughs> Give it to me. go in there and get another password. Or rather password. Don't know why they did that typo, I mean really. Then we're going to kill a couple of those jellies there. Apparently they give a lot of gold and they move really slow. is they can't walk over water. I can just place myself here for example. Or here. Kill them like that. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so that, that makes things much much easier. Yeah, I can't get to me. Fucking hell. Well, I mean, it's just fair if I 
pull out a walkthrough after one hour of failing. Because this is really, really... It was tough. And I'm at 9,800 AI. I need to get to 20,000 roughly. Then we can move on. That's funny because it means I can actually stand here without pressing the pause button. Fourteen thousand nine hundred eighty. Yeah, that's going rather quickly. Oops. I really love it when enemies can't hit you. And with those boots we should also be able to um, get to the boss, or rather the boss dungeon, let's see how difficult that is. If we can get there with almost full health, I'm pretty certain I can beat him. If not, well, we're screwed. <laughs> Again, just in case. Yeah, we're pretty good right now. 20,000 is what we need. So. And what does it say? Uh, do -do 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 -do. See what's down there. This place was overrun by Warlick, okay. Yeah, but Warlick is not our greatest concern right now. Two. Correctly, one, two, three. Them. No, 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 no. Oh, this is so unfair with the forest around here. Nice. It's got also a little bit of health back. What's in here? 
Those need to shatter rock. Can be okay. At least the game tells you that. That's good. Shut a rock. Oh, wait, there's a, I think there's a radar over there. Which we need. Get some health back. What's that? Yes. Because now we can destroy rocks, and that means we can go to that area on the north. It said where the fairy said, yeah, we can't go there unless we have the ring of invisibility. Oh right, and I'm not limited by rivers anymore. Mustn't forget that. I can probably now even walk up that river over there. It's cool. Say what you want, but it's pretty cool. What do we have here? This pendant will protect you from harm, okay. I take it. Okay, now you actually take less damage. Okay. was pretty fascinating. Something. There's something the walkthrough doesn't tell me, and that is what's actually up to the north if you walk right next to that part where you couldn't walk before. I mean, does that do something for you? No, not really. Just allows pretty much to uh, fast track. Right, so I don't have to walk over the um, so I don't have to walk all the way over the graveyard. And now we need a little bit more money. Back to our slug friends. I'll come down here. So, guys, that ups. Should watch out with going down south all the time. I 
Once we got ourselves the, all the gold, we can also get back to Winkle and get ourselves a new password now that we have the pendant, which gives us more defensive capabilities, so we shouldn't lose half our energy anymore just because one of the enemies around here hit us. And apparently there's another secret bush as well, and I really wonder why the game doesn't tell you that. I mean, all the other secrets that we've had so far, the game at least told us that they were there. Didn't give us an exact clue, but at least an idea of what we need to do. Like this is next to the grave or whatever, this is next to the river. But this time the game didn't tell us anything. It's a little bit unfair. See how far in are we when it comes to money? 10,000, a little bit more. I think it's good that we've already um, went through all the forest parts, got ourselves all that money. Because according to the walkthrough we shouldn't have done that yet. But I will follow it for a little while because, like I said, right now I really don't know where to go. And there's nothing worse than getting lost on stream. That's horrible. And also, hey, Ollie, welcome to the stream. <laughs> How are you doing on this fine Monday afternoon or evening, rather? Those jellies almost move like they have a seizure or something. Go three screens to the east, four to the south, and one more to the east. Okay, so one, two. Okay, 28,000 max gold. I 
and make a run for it. Oh, of course they hit me. Okay, so we're very close to the dungeon actually. Uh, do, 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 what does it say? So we need another screen with our white bats and a freaking bush. Guys, we're again losing way too much life here. Anyone sees a bush? No. Flow energy here. I think that bush. Yep, that's the dungeon. Oh, nice, it's a side scrolling dungeon. Oh, that's good. It's a pretty spoopy dungeon. Proofs for those dungeons. It's pretty intuitive. And usually, also lots of fun. Whoa! Wee. Not sure if that was supposed to work out like that. Whoa. 
you're dead. Backwards. actually more tricky jump than you might think. Ouch. Confusing. Oh, I see. Can't really get up there. Pretty long dungeon. So, what is it with those stars of David? I always noticed that in many games in the 8 bit era, the stars like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Those this David's list is so weird. Who the fuck is that? Holy shit. Shake is hard to beat. Got her. <laughs> Definitely had easier battles than that. But the previous boss was actually a lot harder.
out. And there's that crystal that we need. Thanks. So now I think it's time to actually go into the desert. Like for real. And also maybe get myself a password. We have four crystals, it means there are only three crystals to go. Let's take that. Jesus Christ, this game is really, really tough. But, on the other hand, at least if you have a little bit of Hint material here. that. To the left here. Yeah, there was one way. in here. It's connected to the ocean. Well, that's good to know. there. Here. Ah, nice. Five thousand gold. Want?
Okay, so we have to kill that one guy there and then we can... Some mechanics in this game are a little bit weird. But how much? No. No way. I mean, this time it's a red herb actually, so not sure if that matters. Sharks. Ah, great, and I got stuck. This is so mean, because the dungeon is so tight. And of course there are bats here as well. Please tell me that's the right way. Ah. Nice. Just really don't want to get stuck, that's all. There should only be one place where you can get really, really stuck and it should be early in the dungeon because otherwise this would be really, really unfair. I'm dead. Well, let's get at that password there. Let me do a little 
short break because I actually need to go to the toilet. I'll be right back. And I hope you wait for me because this guy is really, really tough. So, we'll see you later.
So, I'm back. Hey, Deviant Fish, and hey, Admiral Doc, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, I actually hoped that we would get a different continue point, but we didn't. Ouch. Compile, which went bankrupt, and some of the devs went to found Compile Hard, which made nap nap games okay. I never heard of that, but I wonder what's still left here. Okay. That really wasn't what I expected. Oh right, my GOG affiliate link. I don't think it works anymore. I forgot to renew the contract. Uh, so ignore that. <laughs> um, oh, what's here? Oh. Well, that was totally worth it. But we did miss quite a lot of other things. But I think we should check with our new ability if we can reach some areas that we couldn't reach before. Like the one we just saw. Because damn, a potion of life just like that? Really? Yeah, and them founding a new company, uh, out of all things. Didn't know that. Because I do know that Compile uh, made a couple of other games as well after this one. straight into him. Ah, they are the one behind Neptunia. Yeah, now I understand. I didn't know what you mean with... N I think I, with Nep Nep. That, that's what I didn't know about. Okay, that's... So they made Hyperdimension Neptunia. That's right. That, that's the game you mean, right? To make a little bit of money here. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. That's great. I actually have um, a couple of Hyperdimension Neptunia games here. Some for PlayStation 3 and uh, the ones, the Rebirth, uh, Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth games that are on GOG. I have all of them. Didn't know they were made by the same guys as this game. It's pretty fascinating. Yeah, uh, I actually bought them, I believe, one year back uh, in a local store. They had them in a, in a triple package, actually, so you could get all three in one, on one disc. Or oh, I believe it's three discs, I have to look into the package. I uh, only put them in one, so I can't remember, it's been quite a while. I always wanted to play them more, <laughs> but then, yeah, you know how that works, right? You buy a game, you want to play it, and then, yeah, it waits on the shelf and waits and waits and waits to be played. Yeah, I do have those, so... That's truly fascinating, I mean it. Oh, and by the way, in case you wonder, there is actually no good strategy for fighting... Um, ...that boss. Right, the strategy is fight him, defeat him, and don't get hit. OK. 
Okay, nothing here. I just put a sharks. Oh no, wait, it's not sharks. I think it was just a fairy that told me that uh, the boss that we're facing is actually pretty damn strong. I know this one there pretends to be one of those old hacks, but we missed some of the uh, of the old hacks, so we definitely need to find them. Oh, what's that? Nice, this one. Thirty-eight thousand gold. And also, one thing I want to note about this game is look at how many different enemy types there are. It's amazing. At least I think it's amazing. <laughs> Not sure how you see it. Oh, nice. It's down here. Who is Jack? Then of course there are these weird bats and I hate them. What do we have here? West of here, okay. Take it forty four thousand, that's good. Right, and that's the area where we actually need to go to. So let's see if we can actually beat that boss. You can actually fool some of the enemy spawns by going to the right. Because they will always spawn some uh, to some offset of you, so that you can't hit them straight away, right? So um, if you if you do this right, you can actually make them spawn in a way that uh, when you move in the best possible lane. Yeah, they're just hitting me, but I'm not good enough for that. <laughs> What's that bat doing over there? I see that's what I mean, uh, enemies can actually spawn in a way that you can't hit them at all. That's rather annoying, especially when you have these one pixel thing here. Die! Oh, Killed him. Nice. All of our health back. All the way to the left. Try to avoid those guys. Get through here. And the uh, third bat will definitely hit us because there's no way how we can avoid that. At least not if we don't want to get blown out of the lower part of the screen. Crap. Move, 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 move. There it is. So, now we have to see how we can beat that guy. Uh, it's really just about that, right? You, he, they attack you, one of them moves random, the other comes towards you.
Ah, uh, no, I'm going to die. Bubsy games released. Oh my god. Oh my god. Zwei, yeah, Zwei is another Falcom game, isn't it? And hey, uh, Billy Cupid, welcome to stream. How are you doing? Oh, wait, is there any special thing about this here? Just want to know. No, okay. It was totally wasn't worth getting hit all the all the time here. But I really, you know what? Let's go here. Let's see if we can make this happen. Because maybe the red one will actually restore our health more than the green one. Like, give us full health back, that would be pretty amazing. But I doubt it. This game is designed to screw you over all the time. Falcom and XC have been pushing out games quite a lot recently. By the way, is Ease 8 already out for PC? Because I hear it was postponed. I definitely have to visit Radar after that. And now I'm not sure if it's already out or to what date they postponed it. Okay, because I think it's out for on PS Vita for quite some time already, uh, so... Oh, let's just winker. That's radar. Let's go in here. Yeah, it's right before eins. Eins would be the um, correct word. Right, it's eins, zwei, drei in German. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did. I don't think we have to necessarily restock on money this time, because you always get full money if you defeat the boss. But really have to defeat the boss now, and that's... that's the tricky part. I supposed to do with that ring? Give it to one of my peers, so what to one of the other old ladies, I suppose. There was none here, I think. Is 
So let's see. Ouch. I hate getting hit all the time. So let's try this again. I hate those bats. The bane of my existence. They're like the Medusa hats in Castlevania. Just look how that bat is following me. This fight is so difficult. I'm not sure if I can beat him today. Uh, maybe we have to do a third stream where we'll beat him. We do have four crystals, so if we beat him, we get five crystals that we need, and there are only seven crystals in this whole game, so. Well, full health again. So let's see if we can beat him. In case you wonder, each of those guys takes 44 hits to get to, uh, to die. Wait, how? Wah. Yeah, thanks for that tip. That's that's really helpful. I actually have to see if I can get one of those red um red po uh, red things again because that was really helpful. I just didn't screw up all that much. Please tell me she still has one. Please tell me that resets. Oh, she did. She does. Okay. And I don't have 5,000 gold. Oh, God. 
so much for we don't have to grind gold, right? Because, yeah, when we beat a boss we get full gold anyway. Drop. Uh, not enough. Straight to radar and get ourselves some our uh, health back, and then we try to beat that boss. By just sticking to the plan. <laughs> yeah. By the way, yeah, we still have that green ring for whatever we need. That I really don't know. That thing is not even described in the walkthrough, I have no clue what it does. Type, uh, type of game where I really wish I could have save states so that I could just load the game again and try over and over and over until I'm good enough instead of having to walk through all of the map again. But either way, we should grind ourselves some money here. Just so that when we respawn, we have enough to buy the, the red herb straight again. That was totally worth the 5,000 gold. Give me a fair amount of health back. Like right now, right after doing uh, one of those uh, grinding sessions, grinding money sessions, just hack a safe state in, and boom, we can always reload at a, at a good spot where we know we have all the stuff we need. But since this is on a real master system, there's no safe state for me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, this game was originally released in 1987 and then reprogrammed by Sega for Master System in 1988. So that's not exactly one of the late games and late Master System games. I actually found out that um, Wonder Boy Monster World, you know, the game that we played before that, actually had battery saves on the Mega Drive version. Not on the Master System version, there you had these stupidly long passwords. 
but in the Mega Drive version they actually gave it battery save, so that, that was pretty interesting. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, in Wonder Boy Monster World, is so easy that you really don't have to worry that much about um, that much about your goal or anything. Because seriously, you you remember when I was like, oh yeah, maybe now the game uh, requires me to buy something stupidly expensive, and then I started to grind gold, and I was actually right at the end of the game already, and I didn't have to buy anything. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> It's a little bit different with uh, Monster World 4, but sadly that game never came out in uh, in Europe or in, the, or in the US. It only came out in Japan, which I think is a real shame. I played it on the emulator with a translate patch, translation patch, and it's really great. Right, Monster World 4 is a great game. It's really, really awesome. But it's apparently too awesome for us Europlabs, so they never made it for our, for our region. But it's a real shame. I think there was one translated version released for, I think, Wii U Virtual Console. I believe they made that, but I don't have a Wii U, so I don't know. I think that's enough. Yeah, but I mean, I can play stuff on an emulator on other systems as well. The, the thing just is, I'd like to have a legit version of Monster World 4, that would be awesome, because then I could stream it without having to worry too much. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, what's up here? We've never been here, by the way. Ah. Will you look at that? there already. That's really good. Ah crap, got hit. I will never understand why they put dead ends into these dungeons here. It's really just to annoy you. And by the way, the, uh, th these dungeons here were not designed by Compile. They were actually designed by Sega when they reprogrammed it. The original MSX version has different dungeons. That's why you can find uh, the Sega logo, for example, uh, in the dungeons and stuff like that. It's a little bit weird. Right, or for, for example, in one of the dungeons you could actually find uh, Space Invader Alien as part of the environment, so <laughs> that's what Sega did, that's not, uh, not what Compile did. Compile just gave them the rights to the code and they started to completely redo all the dungeons. The overworld map and the story is the same, but uh, the dungeon layout was changed by Sega. Thanks. 
Just for that mention, Dad. Go a different path this time. Run, 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 run. Did it. Full health and on to the boss. I don't understand why they made him so difficult. So we got one. Ah. Nope. One. Two. Crap. Three. Three. Hit me. Ah, got to close. I hit him. I hit him again. The problem really is that you. Again, each of those guys actually takes over 40 hits, so... <sighs> and they will actually alternate their panels as well, so that's rather annoying. Nice. Then again. Nope. Ah, crap, hit me. Nice, I killed one of them. Ah, crap. Shouldn't have happened. Uh. 
mit dem. Mit dem again. Hit him again. Didn't hit him this time. Didn't. Nice, it wasn't good hits. That wasn't. Ah, oh, crap. Come on. One. Nice! Yeah! Ah! Oh, it's also on PSN, but for only for PlayStation 4, right? It's not for. So, wait. So, we beat that guy. Uh, now I have to look. Look up, I have to go. <laughs> Sorry. It was really challenging, so we have to go west once, three times south, east one, north one, so west, wait, what's that? One. Two. Oh, great. Ah, right, I think we have three. No. Nope. Can we there? Galvaeus was of a kindly nature. Okay. Why has he now become so foul? I don't know. East. North. There you go. A crystal for 2000 gold. Uh, 20,000. Yeah, give me that. I will. Okay, first I want to see what's over there. I guess in order to move on, we have to move to the south. There's nothing here. However, the game does say, or the walkthrough says, that I should actually go back to the jellies, and I will do that now to max out on my gold and also to get a password because. At the jelly position, we can get a password. I really want one. Stupid bats. Because, damn, that was difficult. Trust me about that. Oh, it's a piece three piece then, okay. I should look that up. If I could get a legit version of that, that would be great. I mean, you could probably tell me how much it costs. I think it's hopefully not more than five euros or something like that. Maybe seven. Yeah, that, 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 that's actually what I'm thinking right now. 
Because I definitely, after this game, I definitely want to stream Wonder Boy 3, the Dragon's Trap. And then we've streamed pretty much all the actual action adventure Wonder Boy games except Monster World 4. That's the one that's still, that would, would be still missing no matter what, because I can't acquire a legit version for Mega Drive. But if I could get it on PSN, then I could say, yeah, look at that, I can stream it for my PS3. It would be okay. You know, maybe for that one stream, uh, change Master System Monday to Mega Drive Monday, and then we could easily stream it. Oops. And then we can continue with, um, I believe, Fantasy Star. I actually hope that I would get my hands on a good copy of Go Next Warrior by then, so that we can also do Go Next Warrior after Fantasy Star. Uh, but I didn't, and I never will. Yeah, it's just... The USK ratings are a little bit weird in that, like, they're 0, 6, and 12, right? And I, I always wonder, like, okay, 12 maybe makes sense, right? That you have, like, no age restriction, and you have 12, and 12 just indicates that the game is a little bit more complicated. Um, or has a little bit, you know, deeper story, puzzles that a child might not be able to, to play, you know? That's a good advice for parents, and to know what games they should buy for their children, but the 0 and 6 part never made any sense to me. And the way I see it, we will definitely need a third stream to finish this game. Um, because I won't finish it today, that's that's for sure. I'm going to play for a couple more minutes. I actually just want to stock up on money so that I don't have to do all that much at the beginning of the stream again. Because even if you get yourself a password from Winkle, um, you will inevitably lose money when you load that password. I don't think it's quite as much as if you die. And I will actually also mark this password as the ending password of stream 2, but I will play a little bit further, just to see what's coming. So what does it say? Uh, do, 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 do. Go back to red jellies, yep. Ah, now we have to move north, that's interesting. So, no, I ain't gonna fight those guys. Stronger bats, yeah, that's what I needed. That's totally what I needed. Give me some stronger bats. So that I can die even more quickly. You gotta be kidding me. Ten thousand gold, oh, come on, give it to me. 
the green one. I'm not sure if that was actually a good thing to do. Okay, so there's a Bible there. How did... Okay, you can get stuck in the forest there. I'm any. Just so we can keep on exploring. Like I said, we will start at this point, um, beginning next stream. Ouch. Okay, hit me. Okay, I probably need something else to get to her. Like the one in the south only talked to me because of the green ring, maybe we need something like that. Those guys look so cute. Oh, but I throw shit at you. Great. Now I know why you need all that money. This is crazy. Oh. Welcome to the Crocky Forest. Well, thanks. White mice, okay. Take a couple of hits to kill. Three wise old women, okay. They only talk to me when I provide them with a certain item, I suppose. And white sonics. Of those potions in this game, or this part of the game. Ah, oh, great. Hmm. 
No, what's there? Take care not to become lost in the paths. On the paths. Yeah, that's a good advice. That's a really, really good advice. Best to carry Mea with me. Yeah, that's true, I noticed that. Even my favorite enemies became white. Okay, so apparently that's that. There's nothing here. Oh! Missed that one. a really interesting part of the game I think. So you have to look for those little things like this path here. Spends a pond. Okay. Okay. Well, at least we got that tip. All right. We have to give that one to to the one that didn't want to talk to us. That's interesting. Let's move on here. It's up there, by the way. Oh, nice. Oh, no thanks. So anyway, and with that we will actually end the stream and 
Oh, let me just take the password as well, just in case. So, either way, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the stream. We will see each other tomorrow again, probably with a spoopy stream. I still haven't quite decided on what to do. Probably Resident Evil Zero, because I haven't played this game in at least two years. So we'll probably play Resident Evil Zero, and maybe we'll also play another game. I have to look into that. But anyway, see each other tomorrow. I wish you a pleasant Monday evening, and hope you have a good night, and bye bye. <laughs>